Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Craig, and today we're going to be looking at the Wasteland workshops, like little bits and pieces that we got, but these don't actually come with the Wasteland workshop. This is on a PS4 save. I have not modded this. I'm solely on console, so there's no mods yet. This took a lot of hard work and stacking, but I'm going to show you how to do that at the same time and show off that my Fallout creation, which I, I can imagine some people have done, but you know, not to the extent of, like, detail. It's not a lot of detail into it. It just took a lot of hard work and patience. But anyway, let's uh, let's go look inside, shall we? I really like the neon lights. This building is on the third floor of a, of a particular building in this settlement at the moment. And if we go in here, it's an armory with rifle racks. I know you can just stack them on shelves and they look nice and even there, but even then you don't even see this extent of stacking from Bethesda. I'm not complaining at the Bethesda for that, but I would like the ability to not have to go two hours trying to stack these rifles perfectly in order just to make my armory look nice. A rifle rack would be nice, but you could do this temporarily if they do ever bring out the update for having like a large rifle rack with different rifles facing like this or at sidewards or whatever with two shelves that you can already get in the game. I use these steel ones because they're quite long and they give enough space for anything you're stacking. As you can see here, we have some compensated submachine guns or, or recoil, whatever, you know, right here, which were pretty easy to do. I was quite happy because you'd be able to tell they're, where they're lying next to by the magazine in front of them, which makes it very easy to stack. And if we go over here, we have a bunch of hunting rifles. Oh, yeah, I call them the Carnet 8 because I want to actually have a modded at one point a Carnet 8 in this game because it's a fantastic rifle. But anyway, and we see here that these uh, marksman rifles have been stacked in perfectly. And this took a long time, ladies and gentlemen, a long time. And be very careful if you do this yourself because if you knock into them, you can knock them all down, which is unfortunate because there's no solid way of putting them here. I'm trying to think now, do I have any weapons that I have right now that can I uh, stack in front of you? To show you as an example, I suppose I could do the submachine gun. Or, yeah, I'll do a submachine gun. We have to do some editing first, or modifying to this first, so... This is what I do for the... Um, this is what I do for the... Um, for the editing of the machine gun here. I just give it the short light barrel, the uh, full stock, a large drum and now oh yeah and the, it's not important but I like it the look of it anyway so we go to the muzzles as well and we get a compensated compensator so we have this compensated submachine gun now which we're gonna go over here I would do a hunting rifle right now but they're all on the rack so I will actually do that a little later in a different video if you'd like but anyway let's go down here drop the weapon I'm going to pick up the weapon. You see, you could do it like this, and then you could shimmy it like that, but I have a better suggestion, which is to pick up the weapon via the workshop uh, the, way, the workshop menu, have it sh nice and straight the way you want it, and then, holding down X or A, if you're an Xbox user, uh, pick it up by this, and now you have full control of it. And then you can use the left and right triggers to change direction while you're not in workshop mode. Now. And now we're going to do this. Um, voila. You have yourself a beginnings of a rifle rack. I would do it with the hunting rifle because it is quite... Uh, it's more difficult with a hunting rifle than it is with a uh, submachine gun. But the same tier... The same... Progress the same way you do with the submachine gun is the same way you do your hunting rifle as well But I tend to keep them at the marksman stocks because I can keep them in line or almost in line with the little butt stock here the, Around this bit at the trigger guard uh, at the trigger <laughs> you, you, Not the trigger the uh, oh, what's it called? Oh god, it's embarrassing uh, at the uh, handle of the weapon I'm just gonna say that where I can keep them in line and very close to each other without like knocking them about But anyway, yeah well, guys, I hope this video has helped you in some way, and uh, it is a cool way to build up an armory. I am very detailed. I will just show another quick example of my determination to get something detailed done with ammunition boxes as well. And, yeah, 
this is pretty much it for now. And I hope you enjoyed this, guys. You'll be seeing a lot more of this in my settlement soon, where a lot of details going to be put in. And you can do it yourself. It's You can totally do it on a, a console yourself. No mods were needed. You can't have mods anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't usually say this, but you know, uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment, share the video around, because I'd like a lot of other people to know how to do this as well. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.